Fishing with Flair today. I have a video, and this one is going to be the best rod and reel combo for around $200. Uh, this is probably my favorite favorite rod and reel. If someone could told me that I could only take one rod and reel on the boat, it'd probably be this combo right here. I use it for just about everything, excluding crankbaits. It's probably the only thing I would definitely not use for this, just because I use braided line. Um, for those of you guys who know, I use braided line on probably 75% of my rod and reels because I just like the way it acts in the it acts on the reel in the water that kind of stuff. Some people kind of get skittish with braid, saying the fish can see it. And really, I've never had a problem with it. You can always tie a leader if you really want to, but the water around here is pretty uh, muddy anyways and murky, so I don't I don't usually worry about the fish seeing the braid. Um, so I'm going to kind of go in to the reel the rod and the line and kind of explain why I like it and then go over the baits that I use it for or the baits that you could potentially use it for. So um, for the reel, I have a Lose Tournament MG Speed Spool. Now with this combo right here, it's going to run 230 bucks. And the reason why I'm calling this a $200 is because you could just get the regular Speed Spool, which is, I believe, 90 bucks now. I think they lowered it down now that the LFS is uh, 100 So in reality, yes, this combo right here is 230 bucks. but if you were to get the original, just regular uh, standard speed spool, it would be $190 because I think they bumped them down to 90 bucks for the reels. Uh, but yes, like I said, the, this one is 130 but that's because I didn't want to swap the reels um, just for this video. I just wanted to keep them, plus they're pretty similar. So 130 bucks for the Loose Tournament MG. Um, I prefer the Tournament MG over the speed spool. Um, actually a lot. I believe the 30 extra bucks is definitely worth it. I've sold a handful of my speed spools and bought in the tournament MGs with that money and kind of replaced them. I just think they're smoother, especially for flipping and pitching. You really want a smooth reel. You can cast farther. They, they're they more durable. I've, I haven't had any problems with uh, the MGs at all. A couple of speed spools, I've had the worm gears go out, the ones that are really old. Um, never had a problem with them. And just overall, I just like them and I believe they're worth the extra 30 bucks. For the rod, I have a Denali Jadewood series. This is the J, the brand new J2 series. Seven foot, medium, heavy, fast action. It's uh, it's made for plastics and jig fishing. I think it's actually a jig rod is what it's called on the website. But it's basically an all purpose. So any rod that's seven foot, medium, heavy, fast action, that's a good all around. You can use it for a ton of different techniques right here. I just have a flipping and pitching setup. This this is from when I had my tournament in Louisiana back in October. I really haven't touched many of my combos since then. This is what I was using to flip and pitch around cover and um, the grass and that kind of stuff. So you can flip and pitch with it. And then the line, I go with 30-pound Vicious Braid. The reason why I go with Braid, like I said, it's just for me, I have less issues with it. I only have to change the line like once a year versus fluorocarbon. I'll change every like one to two months. Braid, usually I put on on the spring and then change it like midsummer or before like my big state tournament, which is in, towards the end of the summer. Put new fresh line on and that's it. It's cheaper in my opinion than fluorocarbon. Uh, acts better, casts farther, just a lot of different things. But if you, I mean, if you're up in Michigan where you're fishing for smallmouth, then I'd be a little weary about using braid all the time, especially if you're not going to use a, a leader, which you could always use, tie a couple, couple foot fluorocarbon leader on. And 30 pound braid is my favorite all around braid. I probably use it for probably half of my rods. I will bump it up to 50 for my jig rod if I'm flipping a pitch in. A real heavy cover like this, actually, I'd probably prefer 50 pound. And then for my frogging rod, I'll either prefer 50 or 65 depending on the cover. Punching rod, 65 or 50. But 30 will get the job done frogging. I frogged with 30 pound braid for probably the first five years I started frogging, you know, probably the age of 10. I started. I use 30 on everything, flipping, pitching, frogging, all that stuff. So now I'll kind of go into all the techniques um, that you can use with this rod. You can um, do spinner baits, chatter baits, buzz baits. In fact, my buzz bait rod is identical to this one. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. It has 30 pound braids, a tournament MG, and it's 7 foot medium heavy Denali jade wood. So buzz baits, um, they're not ideal for spinner baits and chatter baits, but like I said, it's the best all around. It'll work. Um, top water, my top water rod has 30 pound braid with, uh, I think mine's like a little bit less, like a 610, but still medium, heavy, fast action. Top water, um, jigs, flipping, pitching, pretty much anything and I, besides crankbaits. Crankbaits the only one I wouldn't use because of braid. I wouldn't, the only time I throw a braid with crankbaits is a rattle trap if you're ripping it out of grass and you're kind of like snatching it out of the grass and stuff, the braid will help you rip it a little easier. Uh, so basically, I'm not going to go through all the baits because it's going to be hard to remember all of them, but pretty much everything but crankbaits slash treble hook baits. If you're using like a topwater spook, 
you can use braid even though that does have treble hooks because you can you know you just you don't set the hook quite as hard if you're using braid but like I said flipping and pitching spinner baits buzz baits chatter baits jigs frogs um, punching you can even punch with this rod with a little bit lighter lighter weight than like a two ounce pretty much whatever you want and so I get asked all the time you know I have 200 bucks 150 bucks what should I get I'm always gonna recommend a loose speed spool whether that be the new heroes which are like fifty dollars which I haven't personally tried so don't ask me about them I have no idea if they're good or not uh, the laser MG which I think are 70 or 80 bucks the speed spools which are 90 uh, the LFS I believe are 100 MGs are 130 and then the tournament MBs are 140 and it goes up from there and then for rod Denali, Jade Wood, medium heavy seven foot, or they're a hundred bucks. They don't have anything less than a hundred. And so, if you're gonna go for your, I mean, if this is your starting out bait casting combo, uh, spend the hundred dollars for the rod. It's definitely worth it. You can use it for about everything. Go get a loose speed spool, whether it's the fifty dollar Hero or the hundred and or two hundred dollar Tournament Pro. I would just, I would, if you can afford the speed spool, which is ninety or higher, you're better off. It'll last longer, cast farther, you'll have less issues. So. Try, if, like I said, 200 bucks. If you can get 200 bucks, you can get the line, the reel, and the rod, and you'll be set. So that's it for today's episode. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully, I kind of went over everything. Like I said you can use this rod combo for anything except for crankbaits because of braid, which you can still use for crankbaits. I just don't like doing it. And yes, yeah, speed spool. Oh, to gear ratio, 7 to 1 gear ratio is my favorite all around. You can use it for just about everything except for crankbaits, like I said. 7 to 1 gear ratio. 30 pound braid, 7 foot medium heavy Denali Jadewood series rod, fast action, and a loose, a loose reel of some sort, preferably the speed spools, the tournament MGs, the LFS, MBs, that kind of stuff. So that's it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any other video suggestions, go ahead and comment down below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.